In this video, we are going to see about ANOVA in hypothesis testing. What is ANOVA? Analysis of variance, ANOVA, is a statistical technique that is used to check if the means of three or more groups are significantly different from each other. It also shows us a way to make multiple comparisons of several populations means. The ANOVA test is performed by comparing two types of variation, the variation between the sample means, as well as the variation within each of the samples. Why to use ANOVA? Another measure to compare the samples is called a t-test. When we have only two samples, t-test and ANOVA give the same results. However, using a t-test would not be reliable, in cases, where there are more than two samples. If we conduct multiple t-tests, for comparing more than two samples, it will have a compounded effect on the error rate of the result. To this point we have been comparing two populations. 1. Independent sample t-test, random. 2. Matched sample t-test, paired. Of course limiting ourselves to the comparison of two populations is too limiting. What if we wish to compare the means of more than two population? What if we wish to compare populations, each containing several levels or subgroups? Enter ANOVA, Analysis of Variance. Understanding ANOVA Suppose we want to compare three sample means, to see if a difference exists somewhere among them. So, what we are asking is, do all three of these means come from a common population? Is one mean, so far away from the other two, that it is likely not from the same population? Or are all three so far apart that, they likely come from unique populations? Formula for ANOVA one way ANOVA test statistics is represented as follows, F equals MSB divided by MSW, where, F equals ANOVA coefficient, MSB equals mean sum of squares between the groups, MSW equals mean sum of squares within the groups. Where, SSB equals sum of squares between the groups. SSW equals sum of squares within the groups. DF equals degree of freedom. K equals the number of groups. N equals total number of observations across all groups. Types of ANOVA test. There are two types of ANOVA tests, based on the independent variables they are dealing with. 1. One-way ANOVA. 2. Two-way ANOVA. One-way ANOVA. The one-way analysis of variance is also known as, single-factor ANOVA, or simple ANOVA. As the name suggests, the one-way ANOVA is suitable for, experiments with, only one independent variable, factor, with two or more levels. For instance, a dependent variable may be, what month of the year, there are more flowers in the garden. There will be 12 levels. A one-way ANOVA assumes, one, independence, the value of the dependent variable for one observation as independent of the value of any other observations. 2. Normalcy, the value of the dependent variable is normally distributed. 3. Variance, the variance is comparable in different experiment groups. 4. Continuous, the dependent variable, number of flowers, is continuous, and can be measured on a scale which can be subdivided. Two-way ANOVA, full factorial ANOVA. Full factorial ANOVA is used when there are two or more independent variables. Each of these factors can have multiple levels. Full factorial ANOVA can only be used in the case of a full factorial experiment where there is use of every possible permutation of factors and their levels. This might be the month of the year when there are more flowers in the garden and then the number of sunshine hours. This two-way ANOVA not only measures the independent, versus the independent variable, but if the two factors affect each other. A two-way ANOVA assumes. 1. Continuous. The same as a one-way ANOVA, the dependent variable should be continuous. 2. Independence. Each sample is independent of other samples, with no crossover. 3. Variance. 
The variance in data across the different groups is the same. 4. Normalcy. The samples are representative of a normal population. 5. Categories. The independent variables should be in separate categories or groups. Why does ANOVA work? Some people question the need for ANOVA, after all, mean values can be assessed just by looking at them. But ANOVA does more than only comparing means. Even though, the mean values of various groups appear to be different, this could be due to a sampling error, rather than, the effect of the independent variable, on the dependent variable. If it is due to sampling error, the difference between the group means, is meaningless. ANOVA helps to find out, if the difference in the mean values, is statistically significant. ANOVA also indirectly reveals, if an independent variable is influencing the dependent variable. For example, in the above blood sugar level experiment, suppose ANOVA finds that, group means are not statistically significant, and the difference between group means, is only due to sampling error. This result infers that, the type of medication, independent variable, is not a significant factor, that influences the blood sugar level. Limitations of ANOVA ANOVA can only tell, if there is a significant difference between, the means of at least two groups, but it can't explain which pair differs in their means. If there is a requirement for granular data, deploying further follow-up statistical processes, will assist in finding out, which groups differ in mean value. Typically, ANOVA is used in combination with other statistical methods. ANOVA also makes assumptions that, the dataset is uniformly distributed, as it compares means only. If the data is not distributed across a normal curve, and there are outliers, then ANOVA is not the right process to interpret the data. Similarly, ANOVA assumes the, standard deviations are the same or similar across groups. If there is a big difference in standard deviations, the conclusion of the test may be inaccurate. Questions that ANOVA helps to answer Even though ANOVA involves complex statistical steps, it is a beneficial technique for businesses, via use of AI. Organizations use ANOVA to make decisions about, which alternative to choose among many possible options. For example, ANOVA can help to 1. Compare the yield of two different wheat varieties, under three different fertilizer brands. 2. Compare the effectiveness of various social media advertisements, on the sales of a particular product. 3. Compare the effectiveness of different lubricants, in different types of vehicles. Examples of ANOVA? Example 1. Do age, sex, or income have an effect on whether, someone clicks on a landing page? Example 2. Do location, employment status, or education have an effect on NPS score? Example 3. To study the effectiveness of different diabetes medications, scientists design, an experiment to explore the relationship between, the type of medicine, and the resulting blood sugar level. The sample population is a set of people. We divide the sample population into multiple groups, and each group receives a particular medicine, for a trial period. At the end of the trial period, blood sugar levels are measured, for each of the individual participants. Then for each group, the mean blood sugar level is calculated. ANOVA helps to compare, these group means, to find out if they are statistically different, or if they are similar. Example 4. Consider a scenario, where we have three medical treatments to apply, on patients with similar diseases. Once we have the test results, one approach is to assume that, the treatment which took the least time, to cure the patients is the best among them. What if some of these patients had, already been partially cured, or if any other medication was already working on them? If you have any doubts regarding this topic, please comment down below. I will respond as per my best. Signing out.